So welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we're going to do a tea fillet with the MIG process. So firstly, here's a sketch of your torch travel. So the first run is a slight weave and the second run is a slight weave, remembering that we need to pause on the outside where the dots are showing. Our torch angle is slightly pointing upwards, as you can see here. The aim of the first run is to penetrate right in the bottom corner. So we use a slight weave action, concentrating our heat to fuse into the joint. You also need to make sure that the run is fairly flat so that when our second pass goes over the top, it's easier to burn into the corners. So moving on to our second run, as you can see, we're doing a slight sad face as per the picture at the start of the video with a very slight pause on the sides. The aim is, is to keep that pool sitting on top of the run that you just deposited. As you can see, as you go to one side, it starts to cool on the other side. If you've got too many amps on, the pool will obviously then cover the whole run, causing the run to become convex and not flat. So as you can see, the similarity between this and the first run is our, our torch angle is still pointing slightly upwards, about 15 degrees. If you increase this angle pointing up too much on the second run, then you will overload the well pool on the front, causing a concave profile. So if you're enjoying these videos, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. It really helps out the channel. So here's a picture of the completed weld. As you can see, the ripple formation is fairly consistent, showing even travel. The sides of the weld are straight, showing that we are weaving to the same position and it is nice and flat in profile. Now we're going to cut the weld in half and do what's known as a macro etch test. So here's the sample cut. What we need to do now is linish and polish the area that we need to macro etch. So using a sanding pad we polish the area not digging in but just shining the surface. So next we etch the area with nitric acid diluted in methanol. 10 to 15 percent is what we're using for the mild steel. We then put the nitrile on the shined area of the test piece and leave it for a few minutes to etch into the surface. Then as you can see from this picture it highlights the area of where the weld is penetrated into the parent metal showing your amount of fusion into both plates. As you can see from this sample, the penetration on one side of the plate is greater than the other. The limitation with this test is the fact that it only checks the area where you've cut. If you have lack of fusion or any inclusions etc, then it will not find them down the whole length of the weld. Plus it is a destructive test, so once you've cut the, the, the part, it obviously then becomes unusable. 